in. The debut for Anthony Adams. As he's in for Travis Kirschke. Stewart sets up, drops it off to Anthony Thomas. Slips Derek Smith, and he slipped and fell down. And Julian Peterson covers him there. We welcome the those of you who watch the Detroit Lions and the Arizona Cardinals, the Alcatraz for the weekend, so we could come here to do the game today. And that's Adrian Peterson, second year running back out of Georgia Southern in. It's the first carry by a running back in the game, straight ahead. And he gets up close to the 30 yard line. Travis Kirschke, number 90, made the stop for the 49ers, who have Kirschke in along with. Number 99, Sean Moran. Well, you know what they're going to do now is they're going to test them a little bit. They, they, they think that they have a size mismatch between San Francisco's defensive line and, and Chicago's offensive line. So they want to establish a run now, try to get some yards back. Quick outside to Booker. His first catch, Ahmed Plummer takes him out of bounds up at the 32-yard line. And that's the same thing as a run. You know, that's a two-yard yeah. two run. A little... You know that quick pass outside. Hurry up offense, no huddle for the Bears. Third and three, have to get to the 35 for a first down. Stewart takes off, has the first down. That's what they want from him. Julian Peterson tripped him up, but Stewart falls forward to the 37 for a first down. You know, most people that defend Cordell Stewart, that's what they don't want. They don't mind if he runs to the outside because, you know, they, the team speed will get you to the outside. They don't want it right up the middle. Again, no huddle. Peterson carries, squirms through the hole, and is tripped up as he crosses the 40, gets up to the 43. Good run on first down. Once again, Travis Kirschke on the stop for San Francisco. Yeah, John Shoup, you pulling everything out he can. You know, he, he knew he had to change the tempo of the game. He had to give his offense something to go on. So let's attack and put pressure on that defense. Don't give them time to adjust and match up with us. Stewart calls the play at the line. Adrian Peterson carries. Good strength as he pushes straight ahead up to the 47-yard line. Just short of a first down. Well, you take a look at that offensive line for Chicago. Plumbo, the first round draft choice last last year. He's out. Rex Tucker out for the season with an ankle injury. It happened last week. And Big Cat. Big Cat's gone. They, didn't, they didn't actually won Big Cat back. For years, he was a mainstay on that offensive line. Peterson looking for a first down. Uh, rather, Cordell Stewart looking for the first down. That's the offensive line coach, Bob Wiley, for the Bears. And the Bears did pick up the first down at the 48-yard line. And they go no huddle once again. Blitz coming. Peterson, again showing good strength, was hit at the line of scrimmage and pulled his way forward to midfield. Jeff Ulbrich you know, you, made the tackle. Sam, those back, he's carried twice for 14 yards, had three catches for 41 yards. First, and the Bears are there. Brian Erlacher leading the way. 49-10 for the 49ers. Blitz coming from the outside. It's picked up. Garcia's pass is intercepted by Mike Brown. Mike Brown, one of the great playmakers on the Bears defense. And the 49ers remember him from two years ago in Chicago when he beat him with an interception and touchdown. Makes the play here. Well, Brown had him the whole time, and it was this is a deep out. And if Jeff Garcia had it over, he wouldn't have thrown it. You're throwing that ball all the way across the field, and Brown had a jump on it from the get-go. He was playing his zone defense. He was over the... But Chicago fans want him to make something happen here. Tim? On second down, three wide receivers in. Thanks, Chris. Short drop by Stewart. Outside of Marty Booker. Got a first down inside the five-yard line. Julian Peterson brought him down. Good catch, good throw by Cornell Stewart. Well, Chris was right on two things. First, they do have run plays in, and the last play was a quarterback draw. And this one is Marty Booker matched up on a linebacker, Julian Peterson. Now, Julius, Julian Peterson is fast. Determines on run plays what the outcome is going to be. Bears second and goal. Stewart rolling, throwing, touchdown Bears. The hookup to the tight end, Desmond Clark. 
And the Bears cash in the turnover. The tight end Desmond Clark picked up as a free agent, played with Miami last year. He had a couple of great years, actually a terrific year in Denver back in 2001 when he caught 51 passes. And six touchdowns. He was a touchdown maker there, too. High expectations for him. He caught the touchdown, but it was Mike Brown's seven points. Paul Edinger for the extra point. And the Bears come back. Led by Mike Brown with a turnover, the big interception. Cordell Stewart connects with the tight end Desmond Clark. And the Bears are on the board. First touchdown pass for Cordell Stewart as a Bear. The yard line. Boone and Trailer are the defensive tackles for the Bears. The play fake, Garcia being pressured inside the five. Ooh. Knocked down hard by Erlacher at the three. Man, was that a shot by Erlacher? He is some player. There was nothing there. I mean, look, look at all the receivers. There's a Zuma on Ty Streets. When everybody's covered up and he's in the pocket and pressure's coming, he's got to take off. He was tackled at, at the feet by it looked like Philip Daniels and then Erlacher. It's on the offensive line, that's first year man Josh Warner out of State University of New York in Brockport. He's come in for Corbin, looks uh, for Chris Valerio, who's out with an ankle sprain. The next backup is Corbin Lucina, who was just signed this week from the 21. Pritchett and Thomas in the backfield. Blitz coming, it's Anthony Thomas. Got a block from Aaron Gibson and gets up to the 25 yard line. University of New York. Beaver. I'm not even the sure University if they had the, Sam, I'm not even sure if they had the block on. He looked like he beat him himself. Garrison Hurst is pulled down, wrestled down by Brian Erlacher at the 16 yard line. Erlacher is everywhere making tackles. Take a look at Erlacher. Right there. See him? Steps up. Hurst goes out. He goes out. What range this guy has. And that's what makes him such a great. About a yard and a half. Adrian Peterson is the running back. Three wide receivers in. Stewart to Booker. And he holds on. The 49ers want a timeout. Of Florida punt. Bobby Wade, who fumbled the last one, is back. Wade heads for the sideline, takes it at the 28. Avoids one man, picks up a block, and is pulled out of bounds just short of the 40 yard line. That would be an easy transition. But as you can see, they're struggling with timing. Rabi Abdullah in the backfield picks up the blitz. Stewart dumps it off to Des White. Gets up close to the first down marker at the 48 yard line. And they spot it just a little bit short, third and a half yard. And Stewart pushes his way forward to get the first down. And now the Bears. Will call a timeout. Wasn't here a week and found out he had testicular cancer. Blitz picked up. Stewart goes outside to Des White. Knocked out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Mike Rump on the coverage. Good throw by Cordell Stewart. 15 yard pickup for the Bears. Stay with you and move you. And Fred Beasley's one up. He has a few different roles. He'll be a fullback. He'll be a single back as he is here. And he carries straight ahead looking for the first down. Didn't get it. Good play by the interior of the Bears line. Brian Robinson who has moved inside. Brian Robinson has played a lot of defensive end in his career. And this is seventh season. Now he's moved inside with Ted Washington leaving. Well at the Bears 37. It's Kevin Barlow following Fred Beasley. And a good stop for a slowdown by Brian Erlacher. And finally, McWaters and Green took Barlow out of bounds.
Defensive holding call against the Bears. Bobby Gray, first down at the 14-yard line. The drive continues. Barlow sweeping the left side is wrestled down for no gain. Good play by the Bears. Jerry Azuma, the first man in on the stop. You know, Alex Brown is a guy that's second year, a little bit raw, but he, he's got a lot to him. And, and take a look at his stance. That stance. Watch. See that stance right there? Mm -hmm. Right hand down, right foot back. Normally when you put your right, you know, he's looking in. Normally the right ends get down, they put their left hand down. That stance right there, right here. That's Richard Dent. On third down, the pressure on Garcia. He throws as he was hit. It's incomplete. Intended for the tight end, Jed Weaver, and the field goal kicking unit will come on. There's, There's Richard Dent. Pass rushing specialist coach with the Chicago Bears. And he played here in San Francisco as well. I'll tell you, he, you know, what a guy to learn from. And, and he's retooled Alex Brown's stance. Between he and Larry Brooks, the other defensive line coach, you're talking about two of the best that play the game. And the other guy that he'll be working with is the first round draft pick, Michael Haynes. They expect big things from Michael Haynes, especially working with Richard Dent. I love him. He'll judge. Bears go no huddle. On second and ten, Stewart throws, cut by Marty Booker, up at the 34-yard line. Pick up of about seven on the play. Jake Plummer. Adrian Peterson, the running back for the Bears, who have not run the ball well in this game. They've thrown a lot, trailing most of this game. Des White on the reception of the 30-yard line. But I like the A-Train, Anthony Thomas, wants to run the ball a lot. And we thought that he, we'd see a lot of that. But once they fell behind, the Bears have been going exclusively to the air. And they're still going with it. There's the A-Train. It's only carried twice in the game. Over the middle and the completion up to the 35-yard line. To the tight end, Desmond Clark. His second catch. The other one was a touchdown. Derek Smith, the middle linebacker, made the stop. And the Bears get a first down and go no huddle again. They've done this several times in the game. Stewart outside to Marty Booker. Booker taken down just across the 40. Julian Peterson on the stop. Marty Booker, the key receiver on this team. Beniners. Anthony Thomas. Straight ahead for a couple of yards. Let's find out what's going on around the late receiver. Keeps his feet in bounds on a play like that. Fearless Price, beautiful catch. Right here, right here, Tony. Brian Erlacher. Jamal Robertson following Terry Jackson to try to cut it inside. Stays in bounds. The clock keeps running. But the 49ers way short of the first down. Brian Robinson in on the tackle. Or maybe some of the other candidates that they brought in because I always would have thought that I could have done better. On third and long, Marty Booker on the completion, but he comes up about four and a half yards short of a first down. Sixth catch of the game for Marty Booker. Alan Kutz has gone all the way at center. He's the mainstay on that offensive line. Stanley Pritchett inside in the 49ers territory. 